What is up everyone, welcome back for another episode of Level Up, the series where we're looking at small changes you can make to take your kayaking from class three to class four. This week, the thing we're gonna be talking about is maintaining speed and using speed as a bit of a weapon to help you hit the lines you wanna hit and just be more stable and kind of better overall. I've talked about this in previous videos, using speed to help you with stability, but for this week, what I wanna think about is using speed and maintaining speed, uh, especially through not using backstrokes. Overlapping, hopefully on the screen now, you're gonna see me running down a few rapids. And what I want you to take notice of is that I almost never use a back sweep stroke to change my boat's direction. I'll either be using forward sweep strokes or maybe some bow draws, depending on if it's like really tight and I'm trying to really speed check myself. The reason I'm mostly trying to avoid taking backstrokes uh, for me, it comes a little bit from my when I used to race slalom, like way back in the day. And we used to think about always, always adding positive strokes, always trying to add speed everywhere along your run so that it would make you faster overall. Every time you put a backward stroke in, it's killing off some of your speed, and sometimes it's killing off all of your speed. So, the more you do that for us in that kind of whitewater environment, the more you're killing that speed off the more unstable you're gonna be, and that's obviously not good. But to kind of take that to the next level, the more you're killing your speed, the harder it is to make the lines you're trying to make and keep your boat flowing. And the more you can keep your boat flowing, the easier it is, I find, to keep your boat on track and making moves for where you wanna go. So, like I said, I'm trying to always think about not using back sweep strokes, and one of the best ways I find to kind of ties back in to some of my earlier videos about looking further ahead. I'm trying to look further ahead, not just in the person in front of me, but like way far ahead, and put myself always in that fast water so that I don't have to make big back sweep stroke adjustments to my boat. I can just make a few small sweeps, kind of almost within the regular cadence of my stroke. So maybe I'm not gonna be going left, right, left, right, left, right. I might end up taking like two or three lefts and then a right. Um, which hopefully you might see in one of these examples. But the reason it's better for me to kind of break that left, right, left, right cadence is because I'm constantly adding speed, I'm not losing speed, and that's gonna help my stability, which in turn helps me kind of look ahead, which in turn helps me plan where I wanna be, which in turn brings my stress level way, way down. And this is one of the things I think holds people back a lot in that like class three plateau, is if you're always dependent on turn your body and doing a big back sweep stroke to move your boat any significant um, amount of movement you kind of you've already put yourself in a bad position if you're in a position where you have to do that right the more we can plan ahead look where you're going and use those small positive sweep stroke changes uh, to change our speed the better off we're going to be and the easier it is to help us start lowering our stress level and maintaining our boat speed which in turn is going to maintain our stability which in turn it's gonna make this whole situation a lot easier for us. So how do we practice that? Well, this is kind of one of those repetition things. When you're going downstream, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either count the amount of backward strokes you have to take and you know give yourself a, a score at the end of your day on the river. So if you, you know, you, you're like minus five, if you took five backstrokes, right? or maybe you try and do the next time you go down that same river, you try and do it in minus three, and then you kind of work your way down from there or you can break it down into smaller sections and just rapid by rapid and keep a count that way. And then you'll have a bit of an idea of, just be honest with yourself, right? Like actually how many backward strokes am I taking? Because sometimes, and especially when everything's going on, you're not sure and things are getting crazy and there's water all around you, it's easy to lose track of what's happening. But if you want to improve, you need to focus on everything that's happening and everything that you're doing to affect your boat so that you can work on your weaknesses and figure out where to make changes. So what I want you to do for this week, think about counting those backward strokes you're taking, back strokes or back sweep strokes, and think about times where you could be changing those into an, a sweep stroke, like a smaller sweep stroke, but earlier on in the rapid, so you won't have to do that stroke. Kind of final thought here, I'm not saying I never do back sweep strokes, I'm never doing backward strokes. There's definitely times where I need to check my, the speed of my boat and slow down so that I don't fly out of one move into the next move super hot. And there's definitely times on steep and narrow sections where I'm trying to slow myself down 
to make it, what's happening around me more manageable. Um, but you've got to be kind of deliberate about knowing when you're putting a speed check in and using a backstroke or a back sweep stroke and when you're not. And so by thinking about when you're using them and practicing not using them, it's going to help make it easier to know when to use them in the future once you've got a better handle on using that speed to your advantage. All right, hopefully this was a useful thing to think about for our leveling up and I will see you in the comments down there hanging out, checking in, letting me know if you think this is useful or if this is garbage. I don't mind, let me know either way. Um, either way, I will see you next week. Peace.